My man, thank you for cutting me yep, off. Yep, yep, no, it's all good. Because <laughs> I want to I wanna get to like the solution part. So y'all all work in different organizations in different capacities. We just laid out a lot of different issues, right? So as individuals and people who work in community and organizations, what resources do you as an individual or does the organization that you work with um, offer for solutions to these issues that we laid out? We'll start with you. Okay. Um, solutions to these issues. So anything that you offer in, at the org? Is awesome. in, uh, in my job at uh, Push Buffalo, we try to be very uh, cognizant of trauma-informed care. Um, we try to partner with, um, like, uh, Connect Western New York, um, with Erie County uh, Restorative Justice Coalition, and uh, PUSH has a very uh, good track record of when we have um, these horrific things that have happened um, to us, whether it be uh, COVID, whether it be 514, whether it be the blizzard, that uh, we come together as a community and try to offer some type of uh, mutual aid to help people physically. And then if when we're in spaces to move, then we try to open spaces of like restorative circles where we can uh, uh, try to heal um, on that uh, individual uh, level. PUSH is also uh, an organizing nonprofit at its heart. So its core, its blood, its spirit comes from our organizing department and they focus on housing, uh, climate justice, um, and uh, tenants' rights, um, uh, primarily. And so they have spaces where the community can come in and, um, and learn, and that you can be active in uh, helping the community. So uh, Push Buffalo is at 429 Plymouth Avenue. Uh, normally, every third Saturday, they have community member meetings where you can kind of learn about everything. And then uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, they'll have either like a housing or a climate justice or uh, something like that. Um, that can be more of a uh, systemic or institutional uh, change. Uh, at the Grant Street Neighborhood Center, uh, we offer uh, a lot of youth programs. Um, including like a guy talk and girl talk, which is a safe space for young men and women so that they can talk, but then a plethora of other ones, chest, basketball, sewing, um, videography, uh, martial arts, capoeira, taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo has been uh, very big. I've had some youth that have been bullied that over maybe six weeks or so, six or seven weeks that I've really seen a, a change and uh, you can build an assertity of your, your, yourself. And I think lastly, um, if we can, if we can try to uh, get some time, five or 10% of our time, where we can get in community uh, with people and just have conversations. I think because we work so hard and we're living paycheck to paycheck, a lot of people, they handle their bills, they take care of responsibilities, and then they go for some type of recreation, whether it's the bills, the bars, movies, whatever the case is, you know. Um, but I think we need to see the importance of 5% of our time uh, should be with us just building community, with us talking about our problems or just having fun. Like that, that bond that you build and that, like Pastor Tommy said earlier, that touch that, that we have that is being lost is invaluable. And unfortunately, to my knowledge, I don't think we've had a lot of people that actually studied it to see where that we came from and how that is affecting us. So if we can get back in the community and hopefully it's in a community that's a little bit different than what you normally are uh, around, I think that would do uh, a world of good. Appreciate that. Okay, Brother Antoine, solutions that you offer personally and professionally through your orgs and stuff. <laughs> um, you know, the thing that I was thinking about as Devon was talking about or talking is one of the th so we don't focus on like mental health um, specifically at our organization. So I, I, I don't know if I said this already, but I, I serve at an organization known as Buffalo Prenatal Perinatal Network. But our department specifically focuses on, on fatherhood and father engagement. So I think and I'm borrowing this from you, Sherm. I think I heard you use this term before, but human capital. Mm -hmm. Right. The, the ability mm -hmm. to provide relationships and be in community with other men and specifically fathers um, and then 
with that being said, allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and transparent about our life, life experiences and so forth. So that like PT said earlier, we can, we can be wounded warriors. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and, and, and really just learn what it means to be again in relationship with each other. I think I forget who said it earlier, but I remember growing up not after not having my father in my life, I didn't really know how to relate to men. So when I would, you know, whether I was at church or school or whatever, I, I really didn't feel comfortable having long conversations with men because I'm like, what are we going to talk about? Right. Like, I, <laughs> um, and a lot of times in school, you know, your peers, you anything out of sports and, and girls, you talk, you talk about anything else. Oh, you, you this, you know, I, I don't want to say the, the term, but <laughs> you had to like a girl, you whatever. Right. So the idea of cultivating quality relationships with other men, I think is something that our organization does well, is specifically our program. Uh, um, and again, with specifically with fathers. So, so just the, the relationship piece is, is a solution. Thank you, sir. For me, I'm, I'm gonna let Daniel talk organization, all right? And, okay. Uh, just personally is that, I think that as, and I'm gonna go back to almost the same drum I've been beating, is that I think as men, we have to begin with, within our community because I'm, as I'm sitting here thinking the relationship sure, me and you have uh, has been over years. Uh, Devon, the relationship is over over years. Uh, Antoine, over years. We, we, we connected and Daniel, we've been rolling for the last five years. And, and the conversation that has taken place is not just it's not work conversation. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. conversational, you know, everything from uh, I'm married and this baby won't go to sleep to uh, uh, <laughs> me and my lady, uh, we, we, we're trying to figure some things out. And so there's all kind of conversation. Where's my next step in life? And it's not really, a lot of times it's not offering advice. It's just being an ear to listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think most of the time when we get an ear to listen, we normally talk ourselves into what we're gonna do. Yep. You just need somebody to listen and sometimes throw a few nuggets out there and then you gift wrap it and figure out what you're going to do. So I'm going to, uh, for, for me, I'm going to think, I go back to community, that within the community, uh, for me, I, I, my expectation is that five brothers right here will do the same thing that was done for them. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's how we do it in the community. Cool. Appreciate Congrats. that. Hard to follow that one. Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm a director of community engagement at Open Buffalo. Uh, and our, we're a social justice nonprofit to advance racial, economic, ecological justice. Um, so we have a youth program called Youth Action. Um, I started out as a youth organizer. It's uh, for 14 to 24 year olds. Um, it's a youth led initiative to allow young folks to have a space to learn skills, to speak out for themselves and then actually go out and speak out for themselves. Um, so specifically, you have me co-direct quote unquote, co-directing it with uh, another person. So it's a man and a woman dynamic. And because I'm fairly close to the age range that we serve, I can relate a little bit to the young folks. So that's helpful, a little bit. I'm starting <laughs> to really get a uh, venture away from that now. My uh, my Kwan can uh, testify to that, but just to be there, and like Tommy said, like just to listen. I think that that's the biggest thing. I got three young men that sometimes call me dad. So like whenever they call me, it's like I answer. I make sure to try to answer. I try to answer, he'll nod. But if they text me like 10 p.m., whatever, it's just being there for the young people that you say you're gonna be there for. Mm -hmm. um, the, what it, somebody said, what's the saying? It's like talk, talk, walk the walk. So like, I'm not, my word is bond. So if I say yeah. I'm gonna be there for y'all, I gotta be there. My God, appreciate you, brother. Um. So the reason Tommy's making me talk about the professional piece is because uh, soon he'll be unemployed. Uh, <laughs> 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 Passing that torch. Is it? No, <laughs> but uh, I'll get to that in a second. For, uh, for me, um, being the individual that has been at Say Yes Buffalo <sighs> almost 10 years now, mm -hmm. um, almost you know, to the point where Say Yes actually came, came into this community. And for those uh, individuals that may not know Say Yes nonprofit, um, that's really geared towards helping to change community. Like the whole goal of Say Yes, outside of the last dollar tuition scholarship that has been promised to all the young people that attend Buffalo Public Schools and charter schools, was that um, you give them that scholarship, get them to college, they graduate, then they hopefully they stay here and use that education that they attain to work in this community and build up the workforce. And we're at a point now where you're actually starting to see that. We have probably somewhere between 10 to 15 young people that are actually, that have gone through, graduated, and now they're actually working for Say Yes in some shape, 
form of capacity. So you're starting to see the wins and the results of an initiative that started um, many, many years ago. And it's still a young organization that's growing. Um, but as far as some of the uh, supports and services that we offer, um, we have mentoring for young people that are in high school um, from a uh, near peer standpoint where you have young people mentoring other young people, but also where you have um, adult professionals that are mentoring young people to help them navigate through college because usually that first year tends to be the toughest and it's also the year where you are most likely to drop out because you're going to struggle a little bit because a lot of our young people are coming from households where they didn't have an example of someone actually going to college, graduating and being successful or even persistent from year to year. Um, we have our early childhood initiative, Little Scholars, um, where now we have three-year-old classrooms in pub Buffalo Public School buildings. That's huge. Uh, we have our community schools initiative where you're bringing resources into school buildings that are now open on Saturdays and families and young people can come and get supports and services that they may need. Um, we have preventive programs that are going in and looking at some of the issues that um, kind of ri ri rise to the top in school buildings, right, where a young person may not be coming to school every day. And, you know, if it's a second grader and they're not coming to school every day, that's not a kid issue that's it's something going on at home where they're mm -hmm. not coming to school so you have individuals going into those homes and helping those families get to a point where they can be more self-sufficient and address those issues so that that young person is not being affected from an educational standpoint and that they can go and get what they need from day to day uh, we have legal clinics we have partnered with organizations that actually embed mental health clinics in schools um the 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 biggest strength of say yes is partnership because we literally partner with every and any and everybody um, to try to create solutions that help serve young people and move a young person and families from one place to the next place. Um, there's summer camp programs um, that we partner with different organizations and community. I can go on and on about some services that we provide. Um, I'll get real quick just to uh, Breaking Barriers because I'm repping Breaking Barriers and we got one of our young men from Breaking, Bar Breaking Barriers here to, today. Um, but even in that, that's work that myself and Tommy have been co-leading since 2017 um and when we talk about being solution focused i gotta give tommy his flowers today um just on the strength of what he said earlier it's he's touched every single young man that's on this panel right now yeah. right and and hundreds of other young people in our community yeah. and what our community needs is a bunch of pts amen mm -hmm. like that will literally show up that will pick up the phone respond to a text yeah. no matter what time of the day it is no matter what he might have going on in his plate, in his world, and will help you navigate that. Mm -hmm. And that's what our community is missing. So within Breaking Barriers, um, my role now especially is to, one, make sure that what we built doesn't die and it carries on and becomes bigger because now I, I feel a, a responsibility uh, and, a, and a, a duty to PT because of everything that he's instilled in me, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a person that I truly appreciate my OGs, whether it was my OG that helped me navigate life at 13, where I could have went this way or that way, or my OG that's been in my life since Emerging Leaders and is gonna continue to be in my life. Um, and I know I got some other promises that we gotta fulfill, but we ain't gonna <laughs> talk about that here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what our community needs. We need more PTs and we're trying to build that within our young people and breaking barriers and really make them understand that um, what's poured into you, you have to then continue to pour. Wow. Appreciate that. Thank you, brothers. Um, any uh, Q&A from the audience for the panelists before we get to the solution circles? Q&A, any questions? Going once, going twice. All right, give these brothers a hand. Thank you, thank you very much, brothers. Okay, definitely appreciate y'all. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get I want to get right to the solutions. Um, so I like to do this thing called head, hands, and heart. How many of y'all familiar with head, hands, heart? Okay, cool. So it's a concept. Um, it's really rooted in um, what we call the ABCDs, which is asset-based community development, right? So using what we already have to get what we want and need, right? So thinking about what do we already have in this room? So thinking about the things that we know, the knowledge, right? That's the head, right? Things and skills that we can do, that's the hand, right? And what are the things that we care about that are we, deep, we are deeply passionate about? That's the heart, right? So head, hands, heart. So what do we know? What can we do? What do we care deeply about, right? And so thinking um, 
just in this room, and this is for everybody in this room. Um, what are some of the uh, what are some of the, the resources that we have? Um, and actually, what I want to do is I'm gonna let you work this out as a group. Or okay, nah, I, I like opening it up. So. Y'all want to do this as a collective, or do y'all want to separate into two separate groups and have this conversation as two separate groups and then come back? Any thoughts, ideas, suggestions? Uh, as I think we're small enough where we can have it as a collective. Okay, awesome. All right, cool. So thinking about, um, let's start with the things that we know. So in this room, what are some of the things that, and this is for everybody, what are some of the things that like we know or have knowledge about or around? So I'll start um, just because I did go to school for it. So I have a, a basic knowledge of human psychology, right, and American history. That's what I studied in college, psychology and American history. So anything having to do with people who are here now or was in the past, that's my jam. That's what I like to uh, get in the weeds with. So. Um, Anything else? And y'all can, so y'all can just start spitting stuff out. Y'all ain't got to wait for me to turn around. I can walk and chew gum. So y'all can just say stuff <laughs> and I'll keep a, a running tab in my head. Yep. Thank you for saying that. Things can all absolutely overlap and be in different categories. Anything else? What are some of the things that we know, fellas, that we know in this room? Some of the things we have knowledge about. Also to my team, too, who y'all included in this. Business, real estate. There we go. Mentoring. What you just uh, produced, Brother Gary? Man's an author. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Give him his flowers, man. That's right, that's right. Yeah, give my brother his flowers. And what's the book about? What's the book about? Co-parenting. So your brother is an author, so we got knowledge around co-parenting. Relationships. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, trades helping y'all uh, mentors and mentors. You said trades? Okay, cool. Anything else? I actually got to dip out, fellas. Appreciate it. So it's a pleasure sharing it. Yes, yes. Can I get your number? Yes. Yoga? Yes, yes. See, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. Rep. Community organizing. I'm ready. Okay. Yep. Program development. Is organizing on there? Yep. Okay. No felons, I can uh, help them become security guards. Cool. Anything? Oh, so I know me and my team, we have knowledge of media production and content creation. Anything else? I, I was struggling to find one. Y'all didn't say most of everything I could. Well, not, not that I could do any of that stuff, but <laughs> um, personal finance. There we go. I was waiting for you to bring that up. So you want to give yourself a plug right now? Nah, Please. nah, nah. I'm good. You sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Y'all can come see me. But, okay. Yeah. So what services do you offer as a personal, uh, with, as far as personal finances oh, go, sir? Go I'm going to put you on the spot. I am going to put you on the spot, bro. <laughs> You're going to get your flowers and we're going to promote you. Ain't no modesty in so, here. So we talk about stuff like savings or developing saving habits. I you know, terrible at first. Budgeting, um, paying off debt, stuff like that. Okay. Did we say? Youth development. Mind reading. That was exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yep, okay. Anything else? Did you put program development up there? Yep. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the phrase. I want to word it. I know, Davon, you help with um, social and political campaigns, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's a skill set, too. Just so much. Yeah. 
Okay, anything else? And this is, again, we just want to get this ball rolling. Anything else before we move to the skills? You can put physical health on there too. Physical health? Okay. Love? All right, I'm with that. Anything else? I would say networking, I mean. Yes, absolutely. Yep, most definitely good at networking. Um, Do you have mentoring up there? Do I have? Somebody said mentoring yep, earlier. I'm, yep, I'm underlining the, whatever it gets brought up twice, it gets a nice little underline. Anything else? Uh, no, other hat, bar and restaurant management. Yep, there we go. Speaking of public speakers, public speaking, anybody, uh, inter if you're interested in being like a speaker to some young people, uh, I'd like to tap in with y'all. Absolutely, yes. That's all, that's all plugs, all that's necessary. Game changers. I need some speakers for game changers. Okay. You, well, you, you, you let me know. I got you on that, whatever you need. My man. Of course. Um, anything else? Going once, going twice. Cool. So, now y'all can start thinking about what are the things that we are passionate about? Let's do the heart next. What are the things that we are passionate about? Youth, building community. Safety of youth. What was it that hit? Uh, leadership development of student leaders. Mm -hmm. It was something else that I missed. Uh, mental health. Okay. I got youth, youth safety, youth development, youth leadership development, mental health. Did I miss something else? No? Okay, cool. Thought I forgot something. Okay. Fatherhood. Fatherhood. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, creating spaces like this. Yep, yep, yep. Restoration of the family. Mmm. Okay. Uh, building, building one another. So building each other up. Yeah. So uh, absolutely. I don't know how it turned that. I'm gonna just put building each other up because <laughs> I'm passionate about that too. Okay. Mentoring. Mentoring, absolutely. Creating safe spaces for black men. Yep. Yeah. Healing. Healing. I'm going to say content creation because I love, uh, I ain't never met a microphone or a camera I didn't like. I know a lot of the brothers in this room have insane work ethics, so I would say mm -hmm. that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Glad you brought that. Self-care. Yes, sir. Say that. Breaking generational curses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Change the narrative. Yeah. Definitely about changing the narrative. That's what this is all about. We getting our own narrative out there. That's why I'm documenting everything I can. Oh, duh. Document and stuff. I care about that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Education. <laughs> Education. Family. Family. Family, yes. Oh, yes. I will also say brotherhood, too. That's very yeah, important to me. 
It is on there now. Yes. Being present. Being present, yes. Yes, and the ability to be present and be where your feet is at. Avid listener. Mm. Um, this might coincide with being present, but uh, just supporting one another. Like uh, even uh, PT said earlier, you know, I came because Sherman called. I love y'all for that. Yes, I'm always looking to grow. Accountability. Always looking to grow. Tell me what I need to improve. I think somebody over here said accountability. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait, you already had it up there. Did I? Yeah, it's under, What's up? under the last one you just did, right? No, that was active listening. Oh, I'm sorry. I know um, it's, it's scribbles. I'm going <laughs> to type this up later. That should have been on the other sheet. Yeah. Which one? Uh, PT said healing circles. And that was the things we know, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Put social justice over there, too. Yep. That's what I'm going on. Uh, forgiveness. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna say faith for somebody in this room. Yes, sir. So tie that into religion. Very important. Say what? <laughs> so process me. What else do I care about? Anything else up here? Uh, uh, succession planning. Ooh, I'm not about to spell that. <laughs> Passing the torch. Yeah. There you go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> There we baton, go. Baton. I didn't. I didn't say this, but like one of my biggest like things I'm self conscious about is writing in front of people. <laughs> like, but as you can tell, like I will do it. Yeah, but that's I, why you write small so we can't see it. Absolutely, and that's why I too. <laughs> that's exactly why I do it. Yep. Yep. I know what I what I mean. <laughs> that's all right. I, I bunch my words up, put the letters close in case I misspell. Me too. I've been doing that all day. Hope y'all ain't noticed. That's why I'm also way over here. <laughs> I'm glad y'all told me. <laughs> Anything else? I know we said family, man, but it's a it's a little deeper for me for that. It's just our kids, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. These kids, absolutely. Definitely, I care about um, having fun and relaxing. Sleep on the couch, be up there. <laughs> yeah, that that goes into that self care, that me time. Mm hmm. I think you wrote it up there already. <laughs> I did. Okay. Anything else that we passionate about? Exercise. Yes, yes, yes. Physical activity. Travel. Oh, mm -hmm. word. I got to start doing that. That's what my boys be telling me. I don't, I don't really be traveling. I'm like, dog. Yeah, I listen. I got to step that up. Step that part of my life up. Not this. Spe yes. Speaking of travel, I got to travel out of here. Okay, <laughs> okay. Kids, so I gotta yes. <laughs> Cool, cool. All right, blessings to you guys. Yes, yes. Right. Appreciate you, brother. No doubt. Bonding. Yes. Okay. Anything else? I think we might have touched on it, but strong masculine relationships. Yes. Did I have that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it. Oh, develop. Uh, we gonna write it again. All right. Anything else going once, going twice? Okay. All right. Now for the uh -oh, for the last thing, and then we're gonna go ahead and check on out. Hands. What can people in this room do? Skills that you could draw. Oh, word, because I can't. I can't draw, sing, or dance. Um, I can change the oil, the tire, the brakes. Okay. I can't do none of that. Speaking of oil change, I just had to get one the other day. <laughs> word. <laughs> Definitely spell maintenance, bro. Uh, paint, drywall, uh, okay. floor. 
Okay. What's that? Housing renovation? I can wire a light, a ceiling fan, a switch. There you go. Okay. That is <laughs> right. I ain't know you was an electrician, bro. My dad's electrician. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. Good. Oh, good. Question, oh, word. <laughs> yes, Mingo Man. I got him on speed time. <laughs> um, one, of your, one, of your, one of your skill sets, facilitate. Yep. Yes, appreciate y'all. There's a whole lot of facilitators in here. And training, too. Yep. Training. Audio visual piece. Mm. Hmm? This stuff, audio visual. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We got some. Uh, folk that can consult in this room. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, encourage and uplift. Definitely can do that. Provide wisdom and guidance. Yeah, there we go. People love that. When you start offering that to people, you get a whole lot of cooperation. Teach. Teach? Okay. Definitely you could teach. Uh, Listen. Uh, yes, sir. I don't know how to say it, but do it. ask the right questions. Know how to ask the right questions. Mm. I'm going to just write that. We got some folk in here that are uh, very skilled at leading workshops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Body language? Yes, reading body language. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Mingo, I know you, uh, licensed security guy, so what come with that is you got good aim. Much less huh? Oh, we got some licensed security guys? Allegedly good aim. I got good aim. You got aim. Okay. Right. But aim. I'm going home and it doesn't matter. That. That. <laughs> yes. Humor, absolutely. That's important. We got some great public speakers in here. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily one of my favorite things to do, even though I'm forced to do it all the time. But you definitely can do it. But if you ever need a PowerPoint built for your uh, presentation, I can do that for you. All right. <laughs> That's important. Healing circles. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Just one of my favorite things to say. Right, right. Anything else? Good day. Okay. If you ever need a good beverage for a kickback, I can do that. <laughs> Mixology. <laughs> That's the proper term, right? Yeah. That's right. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Also, your day job. Yeah, putting out fires. Fire safety. Go. I can put up there, I hate to say, but marriage and relationship advice. Mm. Oh, dang. Nope. It'll be Marrying good. advice. That always throw me off at the end. Okay. Anything else? Yep. Thing else? Okay. Is there? Hmm? No. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh. And cook. We got cook. Yeah. Okay. This is so. This is what we have. Anything else that we have? Skill sets that we have in this room? 
Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, we working on that skill, brother, together. All right. Okay. Anything that we don't have in this room that we feel like we might need, just a few things, then we're going to go ahead and close up. Anything that we feel like we're missing that we need to obtain? I guess more dates for this. Okay. Building upon what my brother just said, um, he said more dates for this. I will say a, a kind of issue in a, uh, a challenge to each brother to next time we all come together, they bring a brother too. So I know you say more resources, but I hear funding and investment. Yeah. Okay. All right, anything else? Going once, it's going twice. Trust the therapist. Trust and therapy, mm -hmm. bet. Thank you. Right though, for real. Okay. And again, these are some living documents, so if y'all feel like y'all need to tell me anything else, please do. Um, we did this, did this, did this, I went through all this. Okay, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna do a checkout. Nope, go back. We're gonna go through and we're gonna do a checkout. Um, and then I want y'all to, to mingle and I think um, Miss Ebony Atwood was kind enough to bring us some more food for y'all to take on the way out. She took care of us. Um, yeah, that's the beauty of working. Um, like I'm like the only dude who works at the center besides me and uh, Pastor George. Shout out Pastor George. Um, so yeah, they take care of us. So um, we're gonna go through a checkout again as we leave out <coughs> one to five. Any word or phrase that you want to leave us with, and what would you change or do differently or like to see next time? I am a big boy. I value constructive criticism. So if there's anything that you feel like I can do to make this better the next time, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, but I know, PT, you got to bust a move soon, so we're going to go ahead and start with you and the panelists and then work our way around the room. Is that cool? All right. Real quick, word for me is that we out of Calvary, and the other piece, what I would like a little bit more is hearing from other men. Okay. Am I doing a one to five? Five. I'm a five. Okay. I agree. I'm a five or more since uh, I came. Uh, I really don't have... Any criticism? I mean, an air conditioner? Yes. Obviously. But um, <laughs> truthfully, like Tommy said, just hearing from more people. Um, I love this. I can't wait for more, truthfully. Oh, one word, one word. Um, uh, brotherhood. Uh, I'm still at a five. Um, I would say... I mentioned it earlier, just uh, I challenge everybody to bring somebody else with them that um, can benefit from, from being in this space um, and can add and bring value to the space and uh, just get the, uh, get, the, uh, get, the, get the word out next time uh, Brother Sherman decides to uh, call on us. Word. Appreciate it. Any words you want to leave us with? That was it. Oh, wait, I ain't here. Oh, right here. a word? Yeah, oh. a word. Come back to me. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, we're gonna save my team for the end. Uh, Brother Jalen, you wanna go ahead? Uh, I'm at a minus four and a half. Okay. So pretty good. Uh, I don't really have any constructive criticism other than what he said. Thank you. Yep. Uh, one word. I don't really have a word this time. Okay. Cool. I'm a four. criticism I think well I think the team so first my, I guess the first thing I thought about was location but then I realized like okay studio setup so that makes sense um, okay. and then
then my word would be masculinity. Mm. Um, I'm a, yeah, four and a half, still a little tired, but I got up. It's definitely an enriching conversation, so that would be my word, enriched. And uh, any um, criticism? I think somebody mentioned it may have been Dan. Just while I definitely would like to see more, more people here. Um, yeah, that's one of my, my only thing, trying to get the word out a little bit better. And that could take all of us, you know what I mean? I'm at a five now. <laughs> yeah, I'm at a five now. Uh, I can't see that from that far. Uh, phrase, just one word summing up. It was, good, it was a good time. Yeah, I'm happy I came out. And some good fellowship meeting with you people. Wait, that came out. Not you people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. Cool. So next time we do this is gonna be at the end. It's gonna be in the fall, right before we do school. So hopefully it's a little cooler, and maybe I'll talk with Omri, or maybe we'll rotate locations to a different part of town. But I'll keep that in mind. Um. So I have five. Um. A word that I would use would be uh, like fellowship. And the thing that I would change or would like to see is maybe more youthful men. Mm. Cause I mean, they're, you know, at a certain age, they'll start going through a lot of things that we're going through. So we catch them right before mm. they spread out of control. Maybe, you know, they will help a little bit before they get there. So. Cool. Get some youth on the panel next time. Appreciate that. Did you get a chance to go first? Mm. So how you feeling of checking out one to five? Any word or phrase you want to leave us with? Anything you would have me change or do different next time? Okay, um, I have to say uh, I came in at a five, but I'm at a 5.5. Cool. Um, mm. Definitely a lot of positive energy, and uh, the brothers definitely touched on a lot of subjects that I quietly think about or might share with my friends. And mm. um, the fellowship was uh, beautiful, man. I say, um, like the brother said, I'd like to see uh, more youth in here. And uh, cool. I appreciate appreciate y'all brothers up there, man. Word up. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Okay, now to my team. I'm going to start with my nephew first. Loco. Uh, I'm like a four right now. Okay. Um, word or phrases to leave with? Um, I don't really know. I'm just learning it. You know what I'm saying? Here, where everybody else got a six, and everybody's older than me. You feel me? They're, they've been, they experienced more things, so okay. everything they're saying, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's gonna help me out in the future. Um, what would I change or do different? Nothing, really. I mean, nothing. Appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, I'm at a five still, you know, that running five, pretty much stay at a five. But um, a word that I would, that I, that I took away from, from this personally, it really hit me, uh, brother McCune had talked about forgiveness. Mm. And he talked about how uh, children or, or younger younger uh, people are more easy to, easy to do it. And mm -hmm. adults, we, we struggle with it more so. So I just wanted to leave everybody with that forgiveness. And, and it, it's really important for healing your heart. So just if you're holding on to anything or or uh, any issues with with anybody in your life, relative, friend, coworker, whatever, especially if it's a relative, work on forgiving that person. So, and uh, mm -hmm. things that I would have done differently. Uh, I got some produ production notes for you. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, I went from a four to a five because it was nice seeing people from different backgrounds and skill sets come together in one place. Um, the, any constructive criticism would be more youth and AC, and the word for today would be acceptance. You said what, bro? Acceptance. All right, love that. Okay, um, so I'm, st I'm still out of five. Um, the, the word or phrase that like I'll leave y'all with. I'll, so many things I'm thinking, but gratitude. I'm. I have a tremendous amount of gratitude for everybody who took time out of their busy lives on a Saturday um, to just come kick it with me in this room. It's a little hot. Y'all stuck it out. Um, and I really just appreciate y'all pulling up, um, trusting me. Um, cause I, I, 
I tell my cousins all the time, I don't ask for nothing. I save my ass. <laughs> so it's not like I save my ass when I really need it. Um, and so I really appreciate y'all brothers just responding to my ask. Um, and yeah, I'm tremendously grateful. And I think the one thing I would change or do different next time would, it's a few things I would probably set up the day before, some, some more production notes, um, and make it so that way I can have enough time to engage in the mindfulness and the yoga session in the morning because I feel like I could have benefited from that, mm. running a little hot. Um, so I could have definitely benefited from uh, Brother Sack's uh, session. But it was cool being able to film it. So that's about it for me. Um, and so the way I always like to close things out, um, and now in the words of my late hero, uh, Uncle Jerry, everybody take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. 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 Peace.